Hello, potato, and welcome to another thing! This week's thing, as you may have guessed from both the opening card and the title above the video, is a blind bag thing. It's, specifically, it's this blind bag thing! The Gamer Blind Bag, only $9.99, and yes it was, containing over $25 worth of toys and collectibles. Gamer toys and collectibles are waiting inside. They're waiting. They're waiting for us. We probably shouldn't keep them waiting much longer, but we're going to keep them waiting a little bit longer because we need to look at this thing a little bit more. It's a great value. It's a low price. And, you know, yeah, 10 bucks for whatever. It's the price of like one and a half to two blind bags or boxes normally, depending on what they are. It's too many figures. Gamer toys and collectibles are waiting inside in case you missed it on the front. Same with the only $9.99. Ultra cool fun, all packed inside to collect and share. And just to let you know they're legit, they have the Konami code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, be a start. That's how you know they're legit gamers. It's also how you know they're probably not targeting young gamers because no, uh, nobody at the age of 14 is going to be familiar with the Konami code, I wouldn't expect. This is put up by NECA, which puts out a lot of collectible items, and most of them are of fairly good quality. So I'm pretty hopeful that what's in here won't be complete garbage. And they do wish us a happy collecting. Um, I can tell you feeling it. I mean, it's, there's definitely stuff in there. Something that's a little squishy. There's something right here that's squishy. And then up here, there's something that's like a hard box, which I think goes all the way down here. Maybe like a ballpoint pen or something. Something fun and gamerish. Something that'll distract me from the Xbox to play with these instead. So what do you say we open it up and see what is in a gamer blind bag? I notice a lot more now that like Target in particular is getting these blind bags of blind bags. And you know what? I, I feel like I'm a sucker for that. You're probably going to be seeing more of those. So I hope you like blind bag videos. All right, we've got two, three, four things. All right, so they're not, it's not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be repackaged blind bag stuff that they just couldn't sell. Um, those, are, those are squishy things. All right, well, I mean, for... 10 bucks, we've got, oh, Loot Gaming. This is all Loot Crate stuff, isn't it? This is all Loot Crate Reject stuff. Halo Legendary Crate. Yep, this is all Loot Gaming Reject stuff. So that's a food thing, it says hand wash only. That's that's a little disappointing. A bit, but on the bright side, I don't do the Loot Gaming Crate as, you, as you've seen on this channel. So I'm not gonna have any of these things. All right, well, let's start with the thing that we can see what it is. Banjo-Kazooie beer koozies. I've got, you know, I, I'm gonna, this may hurt my cred here as a geek and a gamer. I never played Banjo-Kazooie, but that's Banjo and that's Kazooie, right? Or am I, do I have it backwards? Because it makes sense that Banjo would be the bear and Kazooie would be the weird bird that probably goes Kazooie when it talks or something. I don't know. I really have never... I'm not a big platformer person. I never actually finished Mario 64. I played it. I owned it. Well, I'm, I'm assuming I still own it. It's here somewhere. Um, but yeah, I never finished it. I don't really care for platformers all that much. I'm much more into role-playing. And uh, some first-person shooting. All right. So what's, what do we have next? So I didn't realize that NECA was supplying a bunch of stuff for a loot crate. Or maybe they are. I mean, are, are these by NECA? It's cloth. I should have a tag on it somewhere, right? Like for allergens and stuff? No, it, it doesn't appear to. And there's nothing on the bag. But that's interesting. That's interesting. This is all just Loot Crate Reject leftovers. Oh, it's another Halo item. So we got two Halo items in here. And... Well, the name would make me think that it should be held this way, but the picture really looks... Mm. I've tried to play Halo. I've never particularly enjoyed Halo all that much. 
Yeah, I know I just said I like first-person shooters, but not so much on the Halos. I tried, tried a couple games. I have a couple of them. I've had ones that they've also, the Xbox Live has given away free with gold membership before it became they're just free if you can find them and while you uh, have gold. But really, why don't you join Game Pass? Because that's where we, we've hidden all the free games now. All right, that's a thing. I don't get the significance of it, but it's a thing. It's not an awful thing. All right, well, this is obviously a flask. But it comes in a nice little canvas bag, you know, like the stuff for Fallout 76 was supposed to. It's got your funnel so you can fill it with your favorite booze. And it's basically got the same design as our neckerchief here. Uh, uh. You don't see gold flasks that often, at least I don't. I usually, usually see silver ones. I do have a few flasks, and I actually, honestly, I think I may have one that has booze in it for like 10 years ago, which has probably horribly ruined the inside of the flask. Yep, loot gaming. This is another another loot crate reject item from the Halo Legendary Crate. Which, I mean, I guess I, I knew that already because it says Legendary Crate on the little canvas bag. The bag, I think you could put like dice in there or something. Do they have a Halo role-playing game? Seems like they would. They have everything else gets a role-playing game nowadays. Let's put that back there. And look at the item that I really have no idea what it's going to be other than it's for cooking. It looks kind of like, I'm thinking like Okami from the color scheme and the uh, imagery on it. Any hints on the back? Oh, it's Microsoft Studio, so no, probably not Okami. Copyright 2017. Zijinjin Pin Metal and Plastic Company. Okay, it's made in China, like, like everything else in this package. I don't... I don't know what this is. I don't know what game this is from. Maybe it'll be clear once we open it up. It's something you can get off of because it's microwave safe. It's... It's a bottle opener, I guess. Yeah, it's a big magnet on it. Come on. It's a sniper rifle? An axe? I have no idea what this is from. Looks like an... Is that a woman's leg? It looks like a car engine with an axe head and a woman's leg tied to it. What is this from? What in the world is this from? Halo, apparently. It's another Halo item. 343 Industries. Halo and the Halo logo are trademarks of Microsoft. So it's another Halo item. So it's all Microsoft stuff, because didn't Microsoft... Banjo Kazooie is rare. Didn't Microsoft buy rare? Is this all Microsoft stuff then? Hold on, I want to double check that. Yes. Banjo Kazooie is made by rare, and rare is owned by Microsoft as part of Xbox Game Studios. So yes, everything in this crate or this bag was a uh, Microsoft related. That's interesting. They should have called it a Microsoft gamer bag. Yeah, I still, I still don't know though. I mean, this is Halo. This doesn't look like, this doesn't look like a Halo item to me. I am going to do an image search on that and see what comes up. And nothing, nothing useful. Why does the image search never work? Never works. Yep, yeah, I mean, we got the colors, I guess, sort of, but yeah, image search. Ne I hear people saying that you've used image search and it works fine and it never works for me. That's annoying. Of course, I suppose if I played Halo, I wouldn't be looking it up. I would know what this is, right? Let's try, maybe without me holding it, maybe just on the white background. Yeah, no. Getting like neckties and stuff and Pez dispensers. That's that's disappointing. Here we go, here we go. It's the gravity hammer. I have heard of that. I have heard of that. So it's the gravity hammer from Halo. So we have which still, I mean this 
That doesn't look like Halo to me, but okay. Because I haven't played enough to know. So those are our items. Those are our 25... I mean, yeah, that's... I would say that's 25 bucks worth of stuff. It's stuff that I would probably never have bought myself. Or even particularly wanted in a loot crate. But, yep, it's $25 worth of stuff. I mean, the gravity hammer is nice. It's nice metal, chunky, got a magnet on it. Probably not strong enough to... No, that's not going to be aluminum anyways, isn't it? Not going to be strong enough to stick to the fridge, I'm sure. Then we've got our flask, which is nice that it comes with a little bag to keep it safe in, and a little funnel, because you do need that to fill it up. If you've ever tried to fill up a, fla fill up a flask, you'll know you need a funnel. Uh, some beer koozies from Banjo and Kazooie, and a neckerchief, which probably, if you actually wore that around your neck, the gold would probably flake off of it, and it would just look awful. But I suppose you could stick it up on your wall. I think it's just a weird choice that... Because again, I'm assuming, because it's the way it is on there, I'm assuming this is meant to be right side up, and yet the name is upside down. I don't know. But that's it! That's it for this week! There's our blind bag extravaganza. I probably will do not, maybe not more of the, uh, the gamer blind bag, because I didn't see any more, and this was the only one they had when I picked it up. But I have noticed they do have more boxes of blind bags, which are probably more of what I assumed this was going to be, which is blind bag items that couldn't sell, that had been returned to, to, man returned to the manufacturer and repackaged. So maybe we'll do some of those in the future. But that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching me waste $10 on these things. Uh, please, if you did, give this video a like, and make sure that you subscribed and rung the little bell icon to make sure that you get notified whenever I post new videos, which will eventually go back to just being once or twice a week, instead of the pretty much every day I've been doing for the last three months. Um, and yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Void of Intelligence, and check out the Void of Intelligence Facebook page. Remember, accept no substitutes, and remember also, you can be the first person to subscribe to it that's not my wife. That's still available. And that's gonna do it. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.